visiting Japan? Don't miss these amazing places! Japan is quickly becoming one of the top travel destinations in the world. More and more people are traveling to the island nation every year, lured by the promise of fresh sushi, amazing train rides, safe cities, intriguing traditions, and quirky pop culture. But there's more to Japan than cat and robot cafes. Its many islands are surprisingly easy to travel around and well connected by railways, ferries, and bus services. Welcome back to another episode of Travel Champ, the home of all things travel on YouTube. We're passionate about exploring mind-blowing and fascinating places all over the world and love to share our knowledge with you. Subscribe to the channel now so you never miss out on any of our latest and greatest uploads. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the best places to visit in Japan. Let's get started! Kinasaki Onsen Famed for its fabulous hot springs, Kinasaki has been a popular onsen town since the 8th century. Set just inland from the Sea of Japan, its numerous bathhouses and traditional inns lie in the Kansai region of south-central Honshu. Now considered to be a part of the city of Tayuka, the small town is bisected by a lovely willow-lined canal, while the Mariyama River passes nearby on its way to the sea. In total, there are seven public onsen bathhouses for visitors to try out. Their warm waters are reputed to have healing properties. With elaborate interiors, fine architecture, and pretty gardens, the hot springs are the main reason that people visit Kinasaki. Staying in a ryokan is a quintessential part of this experience, and lots of the traditional inns can be found around town. In addition, Kinasaki has also lots of shops, cafes, and restaurants that sell local handicrafts and tasty delicacies, with the town being mainly known for its fresh seafood. Nayoshima Surrounded by the sparkling waters of the Seto Inland Sea, the idyllic island of Nayoshima lies between the main Japanese islands of Honshu and Shikoku. Due to its lovely scenery, fantastic contemporary art museums, and numerous outdoor sculptures, it is a very popular tourist destination. Before being chosen as a location for the Benassi art site in the late 80s, Nayoshima was home to a dwindling fishing community. The Minisi Corporation, based in nearby Okayama, then set up world-class art galleries such as the Chichu Art Museum and Benassi House Museum. Set amid some sublime scenery, these exhibit some exquisite architecture and house-important collections, while innovative outdoor installations are also scattered around the island. While there is not all that much to do in the town of the same name, Nayoshima certainly has enough arresting art, architecture, and scenery to keep visitors entertained. Thanks to the Benessi project's success, art museums and installations have also popped up on the other islands lying nearby, Shiawakawa-go and Kokayama. Lying amid majestic mountains with sweeping valleys and verdant forests all around, Shiawakawa-go and Kokayama are two of the prettiest villages in the whole of Japan. Famed for their spectacular settings and traditional thatched roof farmhouses, they count among central Honshu's most popular tourist attractions. While this means they can get quite crowded, particularly during Golden Week and the cherry blossom season, the villages really are a treat to visit. This is because the distinctive Gasho Zukiri buildings that look so stunning surrounded by fertile farmland and magnificent nature lend them a very charming, peaceful, and rustic feel. Besides taking in the incredible scenery and historic farmhouses, visitors can check out the Jim Hamura Art Museum, buy some local handicrafts, and stay in a traditional Ryokan Inn. In addition to this, the mountains and forests surrounding Shirakago and Gokeyama are home to scenic hiking trails, twinkling waterfalls, and breathtaking viewpoints. Osaka Lying at the heart of one of the most populated metropolitan areas in the world, Osaka is set on the shores of Osaka Bay and is surrounded by more than 10 satellite cities. The sprawling metropolis is the third largest in Japan and has long been a major economic hub and important financial center. While its endless concrete jungle is not all that pretty to look at, Osaka is considered the best place to eat, drink, and party in Japan. Much of its nightlife is centered around the neon-lit Dantenbori district, which boasts plenty of restaurants, bars, and entertainment options. For shopping, Shinsaibashi is the place to go. Endless department stores, boutiques, and malls line the covered shopping street. Although most people visit for its thriving culinary scene and nightlife, Osaka does have some interesting historical sites and landmarks that are worth checking out. Its reconstructed castle, for instance, lies in a lovely park in the city center, while the Umeda Sky Building and Tsukintinkaku Tower count among its most recognizable sites. In addition, it boasts Simayoshi Shrine, 
and Shitanoji Temple, two of the oldest religious sites in Japan. Mayajima One of the most popular tourist destinations in the country, the small island of Mayajima lies in the northwest of Hiroshima Bay, surrounded by the Sito Inland Sea. Besides boasting one of the famed Three Views of Japan, it is also home to some lovely scenery and a number of temples and shrines. Mayajima, or Shrine Island, is just the popular nickname for the island of Itsukishima, which has long been considered a holy place. Dominating its interiors are the scenic and sacred slopes of Mount Meissen, where you can find various Buddhist temples, Shinto shrines, and a fantastic five-story pagoda. Its gentle hills and lush forests make for some excellent hiking, and you'll often come across tame deer wandering freely around the island. Mayajima's main attraction, however, is the floating Tori Gate of Ikusima Shrine that lies just off its shores, one of the most renowned and recognizable sites in Japan. It makes for some fabulous photos and attracts hordes of tourists every year. Hiroshima Hiroshima, located on Honshu Island, is younger than many Japanese cities, less than 500 years old. But its fate was forever sealed in history on August 6, 1945, when it became the first city in the world to have an atomic bomb dropped on it. Although more than 60% of the buildings in Hiroshima were destroyed, the city has managed to make an amazing recovery since that devastating blast. In fact, by 1974, the city had actually managed to double its pre-war population, and it has also become a popular tourist destination. One of the most popular attractions in this city is the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park, which was created in memory of all those who lost their lives or were injured by the atomic bomb. The large park is home to several interesting sites, including the Peace Memorial Museum, where visitors can see the effect the bomb had on the citizens of Hiroshima. Another must-see tourist site is the Great Tori, a wooden shrine gateway that appears to be floating in the sea at high tide. The Tori is located on nearby Mayajima Island, Nikko. Located at the entrance to Nikko National Park, Nikko is set in a spectacular spot amid the mountains, with lush forests lying around it. Besides being famed for its scenery, the city boasts a wealth of important Shinto shrines and Buddhist temples and is located in Tashigi Prefecture. Impressively, Nikko is home to two mausoleums of Takugawa shoguns. These can be found at the extensive and extravagant Toshugu Complex. Surrounded by towering cedars, the site showcases wonderful Edo-era architecture with countless shrines, temples, and pagodas. While the complex is undoubtedly Nikko's main attraction, Two of its famous and photographed sites are the century-old Shinko Bridge and twinkling Kagon Falls, both of which are rightfully lauded for their beauty. In addition to this, many people visit Nikko for the lovely nature and scenery surrounding it. Tucked away among its endless mountains and forests, you can find sparkling waterfalls and lakes, as well as bubbling streams and boiling hot springs. Very easy to visit from Tokyo, all of Nikko's historical, cultural, and scenic sites lie just a two-hour train journey from the nation's capital. Kyoto Kyoto today is the capital only of Kyoto Prefecture, but it once served as the imperial capital of Japan for more than 1,000 years. If you're interested in catching a glimpse of old Japan, Kyoto should definitely be on your itinerary. Because of its historical significance, this city was largely spared much of the destructive bombing that occurred through the rest of Japan during World War II. Located on central Honshu Island, the city of 1.5 million people also boasts more than 1,000 temples and shrines, including one of the most photographed, the Golden Pavilion. In addition to a large number of religious structures, Kyoto is home to gorgeous Niho Castle, the former resident of the Takugawa shoguns, Higashiyama, and a well-preserved historic district, and Gaiyan, Kyoto's famous Gisha district. But Kyoto is not just about history. This city also boasts a world-class aquarium, and for fun, you can learn how to become a Japanese assassin at the Ninja Training Dojo. Tokyo Travelers who like to mingle with people will love Tokyo. The Japanese capital's metropolitan area is the most populous in the world. From viewing spring cherry blossoms in traditional gardens to the fish market at Tuskegee, Tokyo blends the ancient with the new from shrines to karaoke bars. It's hard to be bored in frenetic, fast-paced Tokyo, where even a walk down the streets can be interesting. 
The city's Shibuya intersection, for example, is famous for its controlled mob crossing, and its Harajuku neighborhood is known throughout the world for its amazing street fashion, including, but definitely not limited, to goth lolitas, punk, or kawaii schoolgirls. Tokyo is also home to numerous shrines, including the most famous, the Maihi Shrine and Sensoji Temple, one of its oldest. Then there is the Tsukiji Fish Market. In most cities, a fish market wouldn't be a tourist attraction, but this is the world's busiest and largest, and it also happens to be on the itinerary of just about every visitor to Tokyo. Plus, it is one of the best places on the planet to get extremely fresh sushi. One caveat, because you'll be visiting the fish market early in the morning, you'll be having your sushi for breakfast. Other interesting attractions in Tokyo include the Imperial Palace, the residence of the Emperor, and Tokyo Tower. Fortunately, getting around Tokyo is easy, as this city boasts a large and relatively easy-to-use transit system. If you have the time, you'll definitely want to consider taking a day trip to beautiful Mount Fuji. That brings us to the end of this video all about the best places to visit in Japan. Which of the places mentioned in our video would you most like to visit? Get involved and let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this episode, remember to leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more awesome content just like this, subscribe to Travel Champ so you're always up to date with our latest videos. As always, thanks for watching. See you again soon in the next one.